It's about time we told you a new story. This time, it's the story of a spring on the fabled shores of a distant land, a land so full of contrasts that it set our hearts racing and held us suspended in space and time all at once. It was an odd kind of mix. One moment we found something quiet and still, almost zen. And before we knew it, we were thrown right in the middle of something wild and eclectic. Bizarre even. If we really had to describe it, it was a mad kind of calm. Now hold on to the train of thought for a second and let this train pass. What a rush. I know that my passion for trains is a little too much, but that's how it is. This right here is my Disneyland. Walking inside Kabuki Joe, which is the adult entertainment district here in Tokyo. And these Japanese kids, man. The like cuteness overload. All the cats ran up to him, got fed properly, very feisty. They don't just like go, like you can feel down, down, down. It was the closest we had ever gotten to time travel. Through the alleyways of a romantic past and the electrifying towers of a future that had already arrived. A waking dream. No wonder Miyazaki and Murakami found their voices here. And don't even get us started on the food. Steaming tofu next to a creek, followed by a sizzling teppanyaki by the grill. We would do it all over again. Curry udon, yes please. And sushi, the vegan kind, this was culinary heaven. That's the thing about this place. It's not supposed to make sense. Or sum up to just one thing. It's always been an interplay of many. Complex, layered, savory, and delicious. Something you could get used to. Umami. I like the vegetable one more. Mm, me too. I think I'll get I'll take some time to get used to the seaweed flavor.